Hi, um, today I'm going to talk about support vector machine. So um, this is a classification algorithm. You can use it whether your data is linear separable or not linear separable. So uh, I'm also going to show you how to use the SVM function in R. So um, first of all, let's create, let's uh, generate a random data set in R. And then I will call this library to use the SVM function. So now I'm going to apply this algorithm on the data set. So here I'm assuming that the data is linear separable, but I'm not, I'm not sure, but I'm just uh, using, uh, I'm just setting the kernel equal linear and then the cost uh, equal to 10. And then we can see how, how this uh, algorithm working. So we can see that um, there are 20 and 67 that are um, correctly uh, classified in their own uh, uh, in their own category. So now I'm going to use a uh, 10-fold cross-validation, and then I'm still using a kernel equal to linear since uh, uh, you, I have to set the same um, uh, condition as my uh, based on my instinct, and then I'm going to use a list of a uh, cost. To for uh for the cross validation to pick the best um cost to uh to to improve the algorithm, and then after the tuning we can see that um it seems like after the cross validation the best um value for cost should be 0 0.01 based on the number that I input in the cost, so um. So the cost here is a, a parameter that you can uh, um, change in, in this uh, algorithm. So when the cost is small, your margin for the support uh, for, for your um, for your um, hi hyperplane, um, the margin for the hyperplane will be very wide. So that will give you more tolerance for misclassification. And you will also get a smoother surface. While if your cost is very large, then um, you are not allowing um, misclassification, so you can get like overfitting, or the or or your surface can be uh, can be like uh, highly fluctuated. So I'm going to input the best uh, cost that I get from the cross validation in in the in in my uh, support vector machine function. So and then I'm going to redo the prediction, and then we can see. I'm not sure if it is improving since the actually is uh, worse off. Uh, since this uh, the data set is randomly generated, so um, um, so the performance is not actually improving. But I'm just showing you that you can use uh, cross validation to find the best cost, and then to improve or to Alternate, alternate your algorithm or alternate your to change your parameter to see if you can improve or not. So um, in this in the in this example, I'm pre, I'm just assuming that um, the data set is linear separable, but I'm not sure. So I'm just uh, showing you that um, that you can if uh, if the you can set the kernel to linear. So for the next example, I'm going to show I'm going to set the kernel to radial. Where the where the data set is is not linear separable. Let's say, uh, which means like a, a linear or a a, a a straight line cannot separate your data set. So, I'm going to use the iris data, f uh, from uh in R. And then I'm going for this uh, example. I'm going to set. I'm going to set a training set and a dating uh, a testing set. And then I'm going to use the kernel as. Uh, I'm going to use the radio kernel to apply on this algorithm for my training set. And then I do the prediction, and then I'm going to see on the testing. I see there are two. Uh, uh, Data data points that are misclassified, and then I'm going to do the same uh, to to find the um, to change my parameter. So for the radio, 
uh, so for the nonlinear separable situation, there are two parameters you can input in the in the support vector machine. Uh, so the first one is the cost, which is similar when you are applying to the linear kernel, and the second parameter will be gamma. So the gamma will be um, the in will be the inverse of uh, it's the inverse of your uh, the influence of your data point. So if your gamma is large, which means that the, 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 the influence of your each data point is um, not very strong, so which can cause uh, overfeeding since they are, since um, they are, the, the, boundary, the boundary for each data point is very small. So um, you can, so which is similar when the cost is very high. So the, the surface can be highly fluctuated. When your gamma is small, and then um, the influence of, the, of, your, of each data point can be very large, so that, um, so that a group of data points can be, uh, can be classifi uh, classified as, a, as, the, as the same group, so that uh, the boundary can be smoother. So now I'm going to use this um, tune function, and then I'm going to input a list of, a list of uh, cost and gamma, and then to find the best uh, parameter. So here I can see that um, the best cost will be 1, and then a better gamma will be 0.05. So I'm going to input this in my support vector machine function, and then I'm going to do the prediction. And then I'm going to, see, and then I see that actually I'm, uh, I'm making uh, the the classification is worse off again. So it seems like there are four data points that is misclassified, uh, which in the previous uh, exam uh, situation there is o there are only two. So uh, so <laughs> this example is not going to show like. Like how well the the function is working, but to show you like uh, how to how to apply the function, um, I think there are for the S support vector machine command there are four different types uh, of uh, um, kernels that you can you can put in here. So I'm showing you the linear and the radial, and then I think there's another polynomial and another one that you can try. So basically you just uh, trying different kernel and then and then use the tune function and then to 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 find basically using the cro tenfold cross validation to find the best cost and gamma and your other parameter to uh, gradually improve your, um, your 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 algorithm. So um, again, this algorithm is for classification. So right now I have um, three groups, and then I have uh, four uh, four variables. So um, something that um, you need to pay attention is that when you use the tune function, be careful that the that your first, uh, your first um, input should be the function that you want to use, not the function, not the, not the object that you save for your support vector machine. So this SVM means you are using the support vector machine function, not the, not this object here. You're not like uh, updating, uh, improving this object, but improving this uh, function. You can uh, so in the future you can also put other function here like a uh, artificial neural network linear model or something so this is not the object name it's the function name and also when you input the data you want to make sure that your um, your your y variable your dependent variable should be a category variable uh, categorical variable or, uh, or or I think you can also make it a string variable, so not just not a numeric variable. So 
these are the things that you want to pay attention when you're using the support vector machine and the tune function. So uh, thank you very much and feel free to ask uh, any question or leave a comment in the, in the comment section. Uh, thanks for watching.